we got word the shutdown was happening. And I just remember sitting there talking to some friends saying like, we, we have to be prepared. Like we can't, you know, we can't not be prepared because I just, I didn't feel hopeful. So here in this community, we have a Facebook group called Cool Cape May. We have almost 40,000 members on it. And so, you know, they're all reaching out to me and I finally said, okay, so this is what we're doing. This is the plan. We have this food pantry. This is what it looks like. These are the things that we can use, those of you that have been asking. And then it just, you know, kind of took off from there. You guys have to go see the truck that just pulled out. This is from the peanut butter company here locally. They literally just shipped us a truck. It's wow. good too. So it's crazy. Cause it just started off as like one little shelf and then it, now a room, but it, all the food doesn't even fit in the room. And then there's, I know there's also money still that we haven't spent and like it just keeps coming in. And this has only been, I think a two week, almost not even two weeks. Hey, come on in. Friday was about 200 people. That was the busiest it's ever been. But I would say at least a hundred people a day are coming in, you know, with their families. What you got? That's mine. I spoke to a couple of friends and they were telling me like there's, that this community wants to help us and um, we need to accept that help. And so at first I was hesitant and then I went to the food pantry and I was like, this is amazing. I actually started crying. <laughs> and I was like, this is crazy. Well, yeah, and there's some meat in the fridge too. I mean, in the freezers, yeah. So make sure you get that so you can make me dinner. All right. Okay. We definitely utilize the food pantry. So when that opened, I was not ashamed to go into it at all because I knew that if I could save money on food and diapers, which is the, the bulk of my family, that I would be able to pay my mortgage and my electric and my heat and oh, everything else. You can't take them out of the sleeves? This whole community, I'm, these are like happy tears. <laughs> this whole community is, has really like touched our hearts and to think that like they don't want anything in return from us. This is a true Coast Guard community. They want to help us. You would never think that you're going to be on the other end of the food pantry. We're used to helping the community instead of being helped by the community. So, I don't know, it's just overwhelming. We got the gift cards in for everybody. Awesome. So, Kathy was organizing them to get them out to everybody. It's 20 bucks, but it's still gas. Each side of things, they were elected to do a certain thing by their constituents. So I know that they have to do, you know, what they were voted in to do. But when you have a country that's completely divided down the middle, they just need to figure it out. They need to figure it out and they need to figure it out soon because for us, this isn't a game of chicken. This is our lives and, you know, trying to plan, you know, for, you know, feeding our families and, you know, paying our bills when our spouses are still going to work every day. And then, you know, I also think about those that are furloughed who are not working, like what's gonna happen to them? So it's just, they need to figure it out. So right by the door, they're right there in an open box. Cool, thank you. It's not fair, but I know that life's not fair, but it's still good. And this is like proof. And I don't think we would have ever seen this community pull together within the past 10 days if this never happened. Like we would never realize how much they love their Coast Guard community if this never happened. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I hope so too. Would you mind filling out your name and mailing address?